video, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Mackenzie and today I'm bringing you another what's for dinner. If you're looking at me and you think, oh, she looks a little bit different. Well, it's because I feel like I just got hit in the lip with the football. I had my wisdom teeth removed this week. I know I'm a little bit old for that, but they finally needed to come out. They never bothered me my whole life. So I'm dealing with that. I've got the ice packs constantly on, cooking with them and all. But I have three delicious recipes to share with you today. So let's jump right into that. Okay, so today we're making one of the easiest recipes of all time. I kind of made this up on my own. I made this up on my own after I started using anti no nos and it's super easy. All you're gonna need is some cooked shrimp. I like to use the small cooked shrimp and then some olive oil. You're also gonna use my favorite anti no no seafood seasoning. You can actually use this on chicken or whatever you wanna use it on, but I'm gonna be using it on shrimp tonight. You're gonna need one pint of heavy whipping cream. You're gonna need some Parmesan cheese. You're gonna need some minced garlic. I'm just gonna make these garlic knots. I have them laying out because they are frozen. And then you're gonna need a half a cup of butter. You're gonna need some mozzarella cheese and eight ounces of elbow macaroni. And you can use whatever kind of pasta shells you like really. So obviously first things first, let's go ahead and get these noodles boiling and cooking because that's what's gonna take the longest out of all of this. Okay, so for me, I like to take my shrimp and go ahead and saute it up a little bit with my seasoning while I am letting my noodles boil. So that's what we're gonna do now. Gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. So go ahead and spread your shrimp out just a little bit and let it get warm. I've got it on about medium to high-ish heat. Right, so I don't know if anybody can tell, but I recently got my wisdom teeth removed and this side of my face is still like really, really numb. So if I'm talking funny, that's why, that's why I look funny. I haven't worn makeup in like, I don't know, a week at least. Couldn't remember if I actually told y'all what this recipe was called in my intro, but this is shrimp mac and cheese, but it's in like Alfredo form. So really we would call it something like shrimp Alfredo pasta. But like I said, I kind of made this recipe up and it's so delicious, so we're just gonna go with it. But that means I'm gonna be showing you how to make your very own Alfredo at home. I know a lot of people already know how to do this, but it tastes just like Olive Garden's, so that's a plus to this recipe too, so stay tuned for that. All right, at this point in the game, I'm gonna go ahead and come in and add some of my anti no no seafood seasoning. Also, I want to thank Auntie Nono's for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited that they are partnering with me today because y'all know how much I love them. But they have came out with a gift set. Yes, Auntie Nono's has their own gift set. It has the everything seasoning in there that I'm always talking about. It has the firecracker sea salt, and then it also has the seafood seasoning that I'm using now. And these are the bigger bottles just like I have, so this is well worth the money. They gave me a coupon code for you. If you use the link down in the description box and you use my code Carla10, it will save you 10% off of this gift set. I personally would want that gift set for myself, and if you know somebody that cooks, it's an excellent gift, and they're really fast at shipping, so just keep that in mind. So, so the Auntie no, no seafood seasoning actually has like notes of lemon, paprika, and mustard. So it gives you that little bit of sweet and savory both to your dish. But like I said, it's perfect on not just fish or seafood. It's really good on chicken or whatever you wanna use it on. Here's my everything seasoning. I honestly might throw some of this on there too because it's just so good. It, it literally is good on everything. That's why it's called that. And if you ever need like a little kick added to your food, you can add the firecracker sea salt. It's vegan, so that's a plus. Also check it out, zero calories, zero calories five calories. That's great too. All right, so we have our shrimp cooking up a little bit more. Our noodles are pretty much done. <laughs> As y'all can tell, I still cannot talk good with those wisdom teeth, but, or without those wisdom teeth. But I'm gonna add just a tad more of the anti no, no seasoning. Also, I wanted to let you know this firecracker sea salt, something else you could use this on. It's like pizza, popcorn, eggs, like really random stuff like that, it's really good on. So check the description box, use the link, use my code Carla10 and save 10%, thank me later. All right, so we are going to take our shrimp and set it off to the side and move on and start making our Alfredo sauce. All right, thank goodness our stove's already hot so we don't really have to wait for it to heat up. We are gonna go ahead and throw in the half sticks of butter. This equals a half a cup. 
once your butter gets almost melted, you're gonna go in and add your whole pint of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna add about a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I have tried using the shredded and it doesn't melt as well, so I always use grated. And last but certainly not least, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of minced garlic. I'll probably just go ahead and add the rest of this container because it's almost empty. All right, so I'm gonna mix this up and I'm going to turn up the heat to medium high and just let this come to about a rolling simmer and then you will feel it start to thicken up as well. And of course, you don't wanna have any of these chunks of Parmesan in there either, so make sure those are all melted too. Mmm, it already smells like Olive Garden up in here. So we're gonna do some more switching places on this stove over here. We are going to move this to the back and let it thicken up a little bit. We're gonna move our shrimp back up to the front and I'm actually going to drain this. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and add in my macaroni noodles. I'm going to add in my shrimp seasoned with the anti Nono's seafood seasoning. Last but certainly not least, we are going to be adding in our Alfredo sauce that we just made. And this will thicken up. We're gonna turn the heat back on in just a minute. Go ahead and give it a good stir. And I have it on medium heat right now. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and some pepper. So we're gonna do right there, we're gonna let that thicken up. I don't know if a lot of people use mozzarella with shrimp or fish, and I know it's not a huge thing, but we do around here. So we're gonna add probably about a half a cup of mozzarella cheese to the top of this, just to give it a little bit of a cheesy texture. Honestly, this is what makes this whole dish. Look how cheesy it is. Also, now I remember what I called this the first time I made it. I called it shrimp Alfredo mac and cheese. So, all right, so everything is done, including our garlic knots. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this shrimp Alfredo to my bowl. I need new bowls for my kitchen, but I do have lots of glass bowls, but I prefer not to use those because in my house, those get broken easily. I'm gonna add a little garlic knot on the side, and then I'm gonna pour some of this Alfredo that I have extra on the side as well to dip my garlic knot in. And this is what we have, y'all. It is so, so delicious. All right, so for tonight's recipe, I'm really excited. I've actually never made this before. We are going to be making slow cooker ranch pork chops. So you're gonna need one cup of milk, one pack of ranch seasoning mix. You're gonna need pork chops. This was actually a substitution at my Walmart, so I got this instead of what I actually wanted, which was the other boneless pork chops, but this will be fine. I'm actually gonna use all of this. Normally, you'd probably just use about four boneless pork chops. You're also gonna need some onion powder, red potatoes, some cream of chicken soup. You probably wanna use two cans of this if you don't have a big one like this, and then you just need to mix a bowl and your crock pot, and you are all good. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to rinse my potatoes and then dice them all up. All right, so now we're gonna make the mixture that's gonna go over our pork chops and potatoes, and we're gonna use this big can of cream of chicken soup. If you do not have the big can, you can use two of the small regular size cans that are 10.5 ounces. So next up, you're gonna sprinkle some onion powder. I just play this by ear. It's just for a little bit of extra flavor. And then we're gonna add in this entire one ounce package of ranch seasoning mix. And next, one cup of milk. All right, so we're gonna come in and stir this together really, really good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our potatoes to the crock pot. Y'all, I almost forgot to spray it, so we're gonna spray it first. I even poured in a few potatoes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper and some salt. We're gonna lay in our pork chops on top of all of the potatoes. Mm -hmm. 
Once we get all of our boneless pork chops and potatoes in the crock pot, we're gonna go ahead and add our mixture over it that we just made. And that, my friends, is literally all you have to do. I would cover that pork chop up, just being honest. But right now, I don't have enough hands to do that. So I'm gonna put my top, pop my top, what I always say. I'm gonna cook this on high for three to four hours, but you can also cook it on low for seven to eight hours. That's probably what I would prefer if it wasn't already so late. So I will come back and show you what it looks like. All right, we are going to check our pork chops and potatoes. It has been about three and a half hours and it's bubbly and delicious. So for this recipe, you're actually supposed to shred the pork chops and like kind of eat them with the potatoes, but we really don't want ours shredded, so we're not gonna do that. But look how good and delicious those potatoes look. Mixed with the pork chops, everything looks so good and it's done. And we'll just cut them up as we eat them with the potatoes on our plate, but honestly, I feel like it is going to be perfect. Look at that. All right, y'all, so here is my plate. I have a couple pork chops on here with some potatoes. I added some salt and pepper and I'm ready for dinner. Okay, so don't mind the way I'm speaking. If I sound kind of funny, I just got my wisdom teeth removed and it is not a vibe, y'all. So today we are making slow cooker cordon bleu, which I'm really excited about. I've actually never made this recipe before, so I'm really excited to try it. We are going to need three or four chicken breasts. I just had four left on hand to use, so I used all of them. You're gonna need a whole pack of Swiss cheese. You're gonna need a can of cream of chicken with herbs. And then I am just using this leftover ham from Thanksgiving, but you could probably just use any ham in your pantry. Um, I may have to add some more that I have in my pantry as well, so we'll see. You're gonna need one cup of butter melted, one fourth a cup of milk, minced garlic, black pepper, and cornbread stuffing mix. Okay, so like I said, you just need your chicken breasts. I went ahead and put them in my crock pot. It's on warm right now, but we are gonna cook this on low. I did spray it first as well. So the first thing you wanna add in is your cream of chicken with herbs soup into the bowl. You're then gonna add one fourth a cup of milk, one large teaspoon of minced garlic, and my favorite, some cracked black pepper. I'm just gonna stir up this little mixture right here in my bowl with my little spatula that I used before. So thank you, Robin Sumner, for the little set you sent. It's gonna come in handy, but I'm making my little mixture here, and now we're gonna move on to the crock pot. All right, so you're gonna take your ham and cover it all evenly in your crock pot on top of the chicken. All right, that should do. We're gonna take our entire packet of Swiss cheese and place it over top of the ham and chicken. And I am using my bigger crock pot today. I think it's an eight quart, but if you're just doing three chicken breasts, you could probably use a six quart. All right, now we're gonna take our little mixture and spread it evenly over top of our cheese and ham and chicken. Next up, we're gonna take our entire box of cornbread stuffing mix and pour it over top of this mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and take my butter and melt it. Then we're gonna pour that butter over our stuffing <laughs> as even as possible. And as you can see, I did not melt the butter all the way. Typical me, right? Which is no big deal. We're just gonna kind of spread it around here like this. It'll all fall together anyway. And that is literally all you do. You're gonna pop your top on this crock pot and you're going to cook it on low for five hours. All right, so we have had it on low for about five hours now. As you can see, it's all bubbling and looking delicious. We are about to dig in. I'm like, is it actually cooked? Because that ham, I saw the red and I was like, oh gosh. Maybe I can have some of this dressing with my wisdom tea that I just had taken out. I'm gonna get some more chicken, Ansley. Does it look good? Yes. This is what it looks like when it's finished and done, and Ansley is about to have some, and <laughs> I wish I could have some. So bad. So I'll leave this recipe linked down below. It's so, so easy, 
and so delicious. So definitely give it a try. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you try it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We do what's for dinners and new recipe videos on my channel every week. So if you like that type of thing, you will love joining in on our family over here on YouTube. And then also we do go into the stores and I take you shopping so you don't have to leave the comfort of your own home and you kind of get to window shop from your house, on your TV, wherever you watch YouTube at. So that's another thing we do here. So if you like that, also you can subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.